Welcome to another Woody's Adventures on the Road. Part and parcel of why I'm not fishing this week. Good morning, folks. This is why you will not possibly get a fishing video this week off me. I've taken a fair bit of drain footage. I'll take a bit more. Um, we've had quite a fair bit of rain out here in Goulburn. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this footage on for you to see. Just see, this is only mainly from the showground region. Uh, I'm going to go up north of the town just a little bit to the weir. And I'll take some footage up near the weir. And, yeah, so it shows a little bit of the extent of the flood floodwaters in this region. Uh, I know there's areas out there a lot worse than here, but, yeah, the roads are blocked. Um, we're on the uh, eastern side of town here, over towards the War Memorial, where I took a little bit of footage up high. This one was taken down here where I could see buildings that had been inundated by floodwater. So, yeah, stick around. I'll uh, show you a little bit more today and then... Uh, yeah, then you'll see why there's no fishing video this week. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Part of my daughter in the background on this video, she was pulling faces, sticking her tongue out, just being an average little 14-year-old. She does help me a lot with my uh, videos. She has a good little help. Anyway, this is looking back towards the car park up at the War Memorial at Goulburn there. Let's just get in the drone set up. You can see the GPS is playing up up here for some reason. That's looking south. As you can see, the flood water's out of the centre of the screen. As you come around, it's, there's quite a bit of water down there. Coming back up north now, that's west, northwest. This footage was taken on the 9th of October, 2022. Around about lunchtime. That's the War Memorial Tower at Goulburn there. Can be seen at night with a light that revolves. That's the actual War Memorial there to the bottom of the screen on the right. Sorry I couldn't take the drone out any further, for some reason I'd go 50 metres out and the GPS would say there was none. So I kept having to bring the drone back in closer. That just shows up high the extent of the water just in our region. I know there's a lot of floods out there at the moment and I feel sorry for the people out there who are cut off or have lost places. That's looking down south towards the Canberra region, which is about a hundred and something kilometres away. 
As you can see, the water is quite extensive. Also part of our um, videos here, we're actually at the moment got a couple of GoFundMe videos out there and uh, not GoFundMe videos, uh, causes and a my cause, that's trying to raise money for a friend who's got PTSD, who loves the sea and he, that's the only thing he can do is live on the ocean, he had to sell his boat due to health reasons but now he's a bit better. He just likes going to go and see. So look that up on uh, Facebook as well. You'll find those two causes. And yeah, if you can help, assist. Thanks, people. This is down now near the bottom of the roads that are cut going back into Goulburn from the eastern side. As you can see, that's a roundabout there and that's a road. There's a serious amount of water here. That's looking back north. I think the rain had stopped falling around about 4 a.m. This was taken, as I stated before, just after lunch on the 9th of October. That there in the centre of the screen is a bridge that goes over a small creek. It's certainly not a creek today. Where I'm heading now, it looks like a basketball court or netball court. And the buildings to the left have been flooded. So I just want to take the drone over and show you. Uh, 
that's those to the top right of the screen. This is up uh, North Goulburn now, up at the Weir. Took a little bit of footage of this, because it gives an insight just to how, show you how powerful Mother Nature can be. You know, in years to come when we have droughts, I only wish that they somehow could pipe this water to and build bigger dams, you know, and, and droughts, you know, could be a little bit better managed. We live in a country where it's, as there's a song states, and I can't remember the name of the song, fires and floods are plenty. just shows you the turbulence and how powerful that water is coming down. This was taken at 50 metres above the weir, so just, you know, you can still see the power even at that height. shows the force of the water going down towards the bridge there that's that's the cook Rail road where those cars are going across
This is now 80 metres, and now back at a metre. Put into perspective how much power was there, the drone was being bobbed all over the place with the sheer turbulence coming off the water. This is now the base of the PGR Dam, which is up on a Crookwell Road. And just the amount of water flowing down there was incredible. moment I think PGR sit at about 110% the most I've ever seen it That's the road heading south back into Goulburn and just up there. Just an incredible sight to see. PGR Dam, a lot fuller than what it was last time I was there.
air power. It's taken just before I brought the drone in. Well, folks, I thought I'd finish off this footage. I just took the drone down here. I just wanted to show you, this is the bottom of PJR Dam, and I, this to me is a lot of water, a hell of a lot of water coming down here today, as you can see, it's down, really good footage, now today because I've shown you, you know, like we've got this flood happening, so there'll be no fishing video this week. So I just figured I'd show you a bit of the flood around, around the uh, Goulburn region. Um, we've had a lot of rain, I'm not quite sure how much, but we've had quite a bit. And this is probably you know, some of the most water I've seen come down here. Probably people probably correct me and say there's been more, but yeah. I hope you enjoy my videos and as I said, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, join me on Patreon, just have a little bit of help, you know, appreciate it, I'll be able to make more videos and get myself out there a bit more, so yeah, please, you know, like, hit that like button, subscribe, and get those watch hours up, and remember, what is on the road adventures, we go anywhere. Some of the fishing trips we've got planned to come up in the future are going to be huge. If we catch fish, the moment's been on the drought, but anyway, that's what happens. You will take the good with the bad. Yep, there you go. Enjoy. And stay tuned for more. Just thought it ended with a few photos of the floods. Just a picture at Yamba, I took a while back. So remember, hit like, subscribe, join me on Patreon, contact me to find out how. Thank you, and thank you for watching What Is On The Road Adventures. More to come. Bye for now.